You also wearing blue, Pat Duffy? How about these Blue Jays making a run? Like somebody handsome with a beard and very <laughs> intelligent predicted after the Yankees were going to collapse and everyone laughed at me. But hey, who's upset about that? Catching stuff on Twitter after the well, show. Bill is a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just hates the Yankees. I'm a I also don't have a beard. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> Uh, so let's talk about the last week of the baseball season coming up. How do you see this whole thing shaking out? I, I see it's just for the Yankees to lose if they can get there. Listen, the American League East is the best race right now because there's so many teams still available with the last few weekends. For the Yankees, their schedule is really tough. Obviously, you get rid of Boston, and that's done. Then you go to Toronto, then you basically wrap things up with Tampa Bay, which is always fun at the end of the year, depending on where Tampa Bay is going to be. So you've got all these other teams now in the American League to sort of wrap up in the wild card. I don't know. They're on the outside looking in with a lot of games to play and a couple different question marks. Yeah, and Toronto's a team that they'll play in the beginning of the week. going to be a, a well-watched series, don't you think? 100%, because look, look, this series with Toronto, in all sincerity, it doesn't just mean this season. It can mean the next couple of years. Think about this, right? Because we sat here, what was it, a month ago when the Yankees were on that surge right after the trade deadline. And, and I you told, said. What did I say? They said they won't last. No. That it can't last. Unsustainable. It's an unsustainable thing. And the crap I caught from Yankees fans on social media when I, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Whole entire towns of Gates and Greece screaming at me very, via social media. Look. The money that you spent prior to this season, the expectations you had, the capital that you spent at the trade deadline, right? The players you already have on this roster. And there is a legitimate chance that the New York Yankees could finish fourth in the AL East. Like, that's not out of the question. If you miss the wild card, you're going to be fourth in the AL East. Heads are going to roll, right? Like, how does Aaron Boone survive? I don't know how Aaron Boone survives this, even if you make the wild card. Like, if you don't make a deep run, Cashman, Boone, explain yourselves. We gave you the talent. What are you doing with this? What a division. I mean, four of the top six teams in the American League are in the AL East. So they're playing each other 19 times. Yep. And, in fact, the, the maybe the single most determining factor was how these four teams did against the Baltimore Orioles. Yes. Which is interesting because you got Toronto basically taking on, what is it, Minnesota, the Yankees, and Baltimore, <laughs> which is basically a, a triple-A team in, at this particular point in the season. So they've got sort of the easy schedule to make sure that they're going to get in the wild card going forward. But Seattle's still in this as of right now, mm -hmm. and Oakland. So this is going to be really fun to see. You know, it's kind of like an aggressive game of musical chairs. We've got four or five teams, and you only got one chair left in this bad boy. So it'll be fun. In the National League, it's not as fun. It's kind of like, you know, let's get to the end of the race here with St. Louis uh, going on this great streak at the end of the year, but they're still warding off a lot of teams like Philadelphia and Cincinnati. So it's it's just not as fun as the American League, but National League's going to be interesting. But it's fascinating at the same time because you get the Cardinals sitting, they're going to be a wild card team with 10 wins in a row as we speak. With the winner of the Giants Dodgers, two best records in baseball, one game separating them. I personally believe that the Dodgers win that division, they're unstoppable. You've got to drop them into that wild card and give someone a chance to beat them. Yeah, but hold on. How many times over the last couple of years have we said the Dodgers are and finished that with They're unstoppable? Even better now. Oh, but okay, but I mean, just show me it can get, be done. Like, do it. Yeah. Show me it's done. And here's one more thing, just to uh, pile on the Yankees a little more because I'm really enjoying my victory lap right now. Take as long as you want. Okay, this was <laughs> the last two years was your opportunity to own that division to make the run you were going to make. Toronto now has legitimate, young, affordable players. Mm -hmm. They are going to overtake you. You have contracts right now that are albatrosses. What did you guys say in, uh, before we started? Garrett Cole's contract is what right now? $324 million. How many years does he have left? Eight more years. Okay. <laughs> Look at the affordable talent and budding superstars in Toronto. Boston always formidable. The Rays are always there. What do you do if you're the Yankees right now? Yeah, their, pro their, their solution is usually just to throw a bag, bag of money at it. But you can't do that forever. Oh, by the way, the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers losing one of their best pitchers of the year and for the Braves, the, one of their best outfielders for the year, still made the playoffs. That's made their last game of the season. It's been a great baseball season. It's kind of good to have it back with fans in the stands, too.